my quotes for the day. Oh, here, here. Oh. Okay, here's here's our lesson. You get your get your notebooks out. Um, a, a, a painter, a friend of mine, Lee Smith, wrote, "Painting is a process of correcting mistakes." <laughs> uh, right? Sure. You put something down, and then you end up having to fix it. Um, another woman named Marilyn Swift, who's uh, I think she's probably dead, has died by now, says it takes two to make a painting: one to hold the brush, and the other person to break his arm. <laughs> St you know, stop stop him from overdoing it. You know. And uh, another one I like, Eric Weigart: don't let reality spoil a good painting. Now, I think you guys all know that already. You know, we're not going to be a slave to the photograph. If we want to make changes, we go right ahead. Artistic license. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, um, she's in the drum section. Yeah, let me get the, here's my here's my thumbnail. <laughs> Come on, let's let me get this right. Um, I did find that the bottom was sort of problematic. I didn't want to have the edge of that table right down there, making two parallel lines. Um, but then as I, as I looked at my drawing, I said, it does kind of, kind of dribble off the bottom and there's nothing, there's nothing anchoring it. So you'll see I have maybe eliminated a couple of green, green leaves and a, and a lily or something bud, and I put in uh, sort of a bottom of a vase. I'm sort of imagining, here goes, here goes Ellen. Um, I'm sort of imagining a, a silver pitcher that I have at home with, the, with a bottom that has some facets on it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, all right, so uh, one of my concerns here is if I want um, the, the white, lightest, some of the lightest parts to be in that light blue area, mm -hmm. I really don't want this table to be white. So I am going to paint, of course not, we know that. So <laughs> I'm gonna paint, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and again, this is where it gets boring for you at home. I, I'm going to just put water, and I'm going to go around my my buds. But I'm not going. To, I'm going to since it's going to be a light tone. I'm going to go right through the greens. Like if there's a green stem, I'm going to go right through it. Okay. Um, up here, there. What's that? That's a purple. So I don't. I won't jump over that. You know anything that goes over this first light wash will be darker than the wash. So it can, you can go over it and it's not a big deal. Okay, gotta pay attention here. So I'm gonna go over all my green, all those little flower, those green buds sticking out. All the way down, just pulling, wa just pure water. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I haven't thought through this vase. What am I doing with that darn vase? Sure. Uh, the angle that you have drawn for the table. Yep. And the bottom of the vase. Yep. Is that how that vase would be sitting on the table, the way it's angled? In my world, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You'll notice that there's no vase in the picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all improvised down there. Okay, I'm going to take a little of um, permanent rose. Uh, wow, grab too much of that. <laughs> and a little bit of raw sienna. We can do Barbie with that. Uh, yeah, that looks like Barbie, doesn't it? Wow. All right. Did she, win, she won a big award last night, didn't she? Big best song or something? Yeah, the best song. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, you know, I'd, I'd love for this painting to be fairly loose, but, you know, when I stop and start uh, several times, it, the edges sort of dry out, so, yeah. Again, just, just covering, except for the, the, the buds, the blue and purple buds, I'm just going right through it all. And I'm really not gonna worry too much about, you know, I, I didn't have enough color, so I just added a little bit more, here we go. And when I finish this, then you all will do do the same. It's kind of pre-wet, and then paint the background so that 
we get a, a little bit of a tone here. Let me go right through all that. Oh my gosh, here's some more of that. Oops, I just went through my purple flower. Oh dear, oh dear. But because it's lighter, you can cover it with purple. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna put Yeah, I'm gonna put some of this. I guess I'm gonna leave some white down here. Because I have a feeling that's gonna be a silver vase, but I that's, that's another whole trick. Okay, I'll let I'll let you guys uh, again. Uh, this will take you about five minutes. This really is, this is not a this is not you're not paying re you're not really being a slave to edges. You're putting a lot of color. Janet, I just started by putting a, a wash of water over the whole background, and then I dropped in a combination of permanent rose, any kind of pinky or red, and raw sienna to get kind of a, a slightly warm, perhaps orangey blush. Um, I like the orange because I know I'm going to have some blue in the middle, and that's an opposite color. The yellow. Yeah, sure. It was, I, I used a permanent rose and raw sienna, but you're welcome to use another red, like a Windsor or an alizarin or a cadmium red. Just be careful. The reds are pretty strong. Yeah. Okay. Happy to take the, the questions. Any anytime you have a question, you know you're, you're paying for a class, so I, I want you to be involved. Yes, I did. Okay. Did you wet the background background or just the table? No, no, just the table. I didn't. Or in my case, the whole bunch. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna move ahead now. Um, uh, I'm going to do the, the next lightest color, I think, is going to be the, the hints of blue in the hydrangeas. So I'm going to grab a little bit of cerulean and ultramarine. You're doing the blues, you said, right? Yeah, I am. Okay. And I'm squinting my eyes to see. 
I, I really, I, I'm not going to do each of those little things. I see some areas fairly light. Right. And then maybe I'll go around what could be a little cup shape. Mm -hmm. right there. This is pretty big. There we go. Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I'll go up against the. Oh dear. Um, so I didn't pre wet this. I'm just. Wow, I, I, I've got to just sort of focus here. Uh, and I'm making little cup shapes because sometimes I see the edges of those things are kind of light. Just, it's, it's so abstract in there that I can't. It's very. I can't be too slavish about this. And I don't know how this is looking on the. Okay. Um, and this blue stuff kind of goes out toward the edges. Looking good over here. Now. <laughs> okay, and there's another section of it. Oh, it's up here too. Yeah, right. It's a two I'm going to put it up there. <clears throat> that's okay. You really can't see it. There's a ton of sunlight coming through the window. <laughs> How's that sound? Yeah. There you go. Okay, then I'm going to... Whoop. We'll go with that. Ooh. Who, who doesn't have their... their mic? Is that Ellen talking, or who's yakking there? Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's hard oh. to control us. I haven't seen Andy down here getting her Ellen's coffee. What's that? Yes, he just came back. I asked him. He, he peeks in the window. Oh, you know, sometimes I see him peek, but I didn't see him today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just brought it back. All right. So you're, you're well fortified. I'm starting to be, yep. Good, good. How far does this blue go out here? There we go. Okay, so I'm touching the blue. Now, I, I, uh, I don't want to stop there because I do want to um, kind of move into the, the, the fun part, and that's these flowers. I'm getting a mixture of Oriolan and New Gamboge, and I see the, the outsides of these There we go. Come on, come on, come on. I should be doing this faster. Okay, well, I'm throwing a lot of yellow on here. Uh, let's really make sure we get yellow up against there. And even if they bleed into the All right, and I'm going to get a little bit of um, cadmium red. Oops. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to drop some of that in because mm -hmm. nearer the Maybe middle. Yeah, towards the leaves. There's definitely a red in there. Yeah. Reddish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Red. <laughs> okay, dropping in some yellows. Yeah. This is the big, well, I, I should throw, get a bigger brush. Okay. I'm really starting from the edges and then going in. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, but I don't want to be too much, I don't want to go petal by petal, so I'm going to run all these together. Okay. Right, and then when that dries here, you're going to do more like 
definitive work to make it? I think so. It depends on how detailed I think I want to get it. That's, yeah. Well, you've got your pencil underneath. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. And now I want some of that reddish, orangey stuff. So I'm going to drop this right in. Mm -hmm. And there's why that. Why choose cadmium red? Uh, that's the Windsor red. Yeah, why because it's a warmer red than the alizarin. And the Windsor red. The Windsor red I like. That's what I used. Oh, I thought you said you used um, cadmium red. You could use, ca if you don't have Windsor red, you cadmium red would work. They're the same. Yeah. The well, the they're, they're close. They're pretty. Like it says bleeding um, into the yellow. Yes. I think it's probably oh, close. Okay. Maybe between the two. Oh, okay. okay, we get a lot of we got a lot of red. Whoops. Ooh, we kind of overdid that. <laughs> okay, and there's a little touch of green right in the center, isn't there? Yeah, I should cerulean and new gambo or something, but I want it to bleed, so I don't. You want a little, little, little dot in there, a little dot in there. Okay, now you're, now you're going to be mad at me, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to take. <laughs> That's all right. I, I want I want things to be. No blurry, blurry. I'm going to taking my, my some greens, and I'm going right around. But I, you can see that because this is wet, I'm getting some bleeding, which I I don't mind. I kind of like it. That's like a deep blue purple color you put in there? Yeah. Well, mix. well mixed. Yeah, what'd you mix for your green? Well, what do you think? Oh, a Cerulean blue. Cerulean and. Uh, I, I used a new Gamboge, a little, little Gamboge. 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 Mm -hmm. So this is sort of outlining and locking in. Mm -hmm. And then here's, here's a petal coming out here. This is dry out there, so now it, it kind of works. Gotcha. What's this over here? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> boop, boop, around, make it a petal, then go out. Oh, there's another, there's another leaf. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a purple flower. I don't think I'm going to get into those colors right yet. Yeah, save that hysteria for later. Mm -hmm. So nice notice how the. Are. But remember on the screen, you're, it yeah. looks darker than what you're, you're looking, you're looking on a compressed right video right that yeah. you've yeah. traveled through the internet twice. That's what you're right. It's yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Just whatever algorithm yeah, developers gave you that thing. Can I take a picture? What is And this is that fern, so I'm going to just brush nice. that thing in. That's why this camera right here is a regular That's nice. recording. So I want these. Okay, there's a little. There's a little dark. I just need to. I just well, you use need. ultramarine. Yes. Did you use mostly cerulean or? No, I use because I want a really dark oh, green. I, the ultramarine is a darker blue. So this is a, that yeah, little dark shape. Right there next to the hydrangeas. And see how it's sort of locking in this, mm -hmm. it's, it's sort of locking now whatever else. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to put some down there. It's like you can't stop. No, there are, you can't stop because you want to keep it moving. <laughs> uh, and, and this is the... Please, can we stop? This is, this is this nice light yellow down here. There's that one, and then there's this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, brother. Now I'm in trouble. Yeah. Here's another one that comes down. That's right, they can both be Yeah, mine was a different color. How'd you make that later green just added more new gambos? Yeah. Yeah, I've been using the. And this is going to be. What did you use for the darker color inside the flower? Uh, just a little bit of cerulean. Um, yeah, cerulean blue and, and yellow. And then, then he added the then ultra he added. Yeah. So you guys can be my color commentators. <laughs> <laughs> I think We're trying to learn color. Yeah, actual color commentators. <laughs> what do I want to do here? I think I want to, I can want to keep that a little bit light. Uh, You're probably ready to rest now, right? You know, I guess I've got it. 
Uh, I just want to get the some of the greens that are next to the flowers. So if they so can, they bleed. so if they can bleed a little bit, they mm -hmm. will. But I think the flowers have started to they've dried, haven't they? Yeah, you gotta say mm -hmm. yes just to just stop me. This is where you break my arm, right? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. I'll stop here. I'm not done with the greens, but I did want a few. I did want some of the greens to kind of fuse with the yellow, so we don't have hard edges everywhere. All right, give that a try. We're gonna come back in with some purples and blue flowers next, but I'll uh, let you jump in. Yeah, so I had the blues, because I wanted to get my lightest colors locked in, because if I didn't put the light colors in there, I might forget they're there and go right over them. Ooh, did I hear the sprayer? That's a good idea. There's a sprayer right here. No, I've got one too. I just haven't pulled it out of my bag. Now, what color is that that you're putting in? Well, I just I'm, I I didn't get that orange in the middle of that flower strong enough, so I'm going back into a little bit. The yellow with red.
going to jump into the the light blue flowers. I, you know, I don't seem to know what they are. They, they look like little bells. Yeah. Okay. Um, balloon flowers. Yeah. Yeah, they are balloon flowers. Are they balloon flowers? Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh. They're not open. Okay. Or just not open. Especially the ones on the left. The ones at the top are a little bit open. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do the blues and then the uh, the. Um, purpley flowers too. Um, remember, we're going to be using the greens to go up against them, so um, to, to find some of their edges. Okay, so I'm going to try the light, light blue flower. You know, some of them are very light on one side with lights hitting them, and then parts of them are very, pretty, pretty dark, so keep an eye on this. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of cerulean. Drop oh we'll just just I'm just running all all those things all together. I'm not trying to paint one and then the other, I'm just painting them all into each other. And then here's this one that looks like a bird up here. Looks like a bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then a big, big. Big chunk there. Another bending to the breeze. That's a purple one. So I don't want that. So I'm just going to put another blue one in there. Come up with a peanut Yeah. That was. Yeah. I mean, what's in the past? That's interesting. Why? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, come on over. You can get closer. Right? Yeah. I have more trouble with it getting around this thing than anything else. Yeah, I can see that. Is this? Is that a cerulean? That's a cerulean. Okay. No, I haven't. I'm just throwing in a little bit of cerulean to start it off. And I'm going to drop in some other color into them. Raw sand is always there, And do I leave a little bit of. There's a little bit of a white. Edge to some of them, you know. See, right. see those things? Mm -hmm. oh, there are a lot of these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put one in the back here. I'm not doing the one that's in front of the main flower. I think all of you probably yeah, didn't draw that in that. either. <clears throat> while it's um, while the blues, did. did you? While the blues are still um, wet, I'm gonna. Put in some dark on one on sides of them or on bottoms of them. With ultramarine. Mm -hmm. A little bit of ultramarine mm -hmm. in there, just giving them the some. Dark. That needs. Yep, a little. Okay. Gives them a little okay. bit. Of, oh, those blue things. <laughs> gives them that three dimensionality. That it's kind of nice. I think they're blue flowers. Balloon flowers. Yeah, Susan, Susan looked up bloom flowers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're called blue flowers. Blue balloon. 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 balloon flowers. When they mature, they kind of bubble up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I call the color yeah. that for the, the original? I put cerulean down first, and then I'm going around with uh, ultramarine. ultramarine around some of them. What else? Oh, some of these other things. They're pretty dark in some areas. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna add a little yeah, almost like black. I'm <clears throat> adding a little alizarin to almost some. like that Prussian right blue. Right 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 yeah, yeah, no kidding. That Prussian blue. Wow, stay on, be careful of that one. Yeah, I have some. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You gotta... Okay, I'm, I'm doing some pretty dark blue. Dark. With some of those things. Do I have another one in here? Somewhere in here. Why are you guys whispering? <laughs> you. All right, and I'm going to get into the uh, the, the purpley flowers now. A little alizarin because it's a it's a cool red. It's not a warm red. You took Windsor. No, I did that. Oh, you did? Yep. Alizarin okay. there with uh, ultramarine, but I'm going to go with the alizarin first. Right. Just first throw. The yep. Yeah. yeah. And throw yeah. that yeah. baby in there. Pretty good size. Yeah, there's less, they're more ready than purple or rose. Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're not, they're just big. Sure, yeah, they yeah. got the white in the middle, like they're going to open, going to pop open. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that white is tricky because you don't want it to be too bright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Start to brown the picture. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. Mm. Yeah, once you block good. everything in, sure. Then you can go on. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that base is cool, and that you're gonna make it try to make it silver. <laughs> yeah, well, <we'll> see. <laughs> yeah. When you I'm not to see that. when I'm not looking at silver, it's a little, it's a little tricky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's. I have some metallic silver watercolor. <laughs> watercolor, but I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> Those, those, I used it on the man or the uh, Brooklyn Bridge. Part. Those uh, mm -hmm. those art stores see you coming, they get they get that. Yes. Oh, we got, oh, we got a, we got a gold for you today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, well, actually, what had happened was I accidentally got some metallic gold a few years ago. Hmm. I was like, oh, I can try this on something else. Okay, a little little bit of the. <laughs> But yes, they see me coming. <laughs> wow, they have dark bad guys. <laughs> mm. uh, this, this, this end is very dark. And I'm going to have dark leaves next to it. This, this, this blue looks really dark right now, but I'm going to have a dark leaf next to it, so yeah, that'll pull it that'll out. That'll pop it. Yeah. Or make the blue less, yeah. less strong. Okay, we'll go, we'll go a little bit out here, a little bit of there, a little bit there. Oh, wow. Yeah, and this picture, it's not necessarily like the light is coming from one direction. No, it's right. kind of up from above a little bit. Yeah, above. Yeah. I turned down so it's coming from <laughs> Okay, now right. while I have... Yeah, yeah so, so your shadows can be wherever you want them. More or less, yeah. So is it like it's the dark? Is it an illusory crimson dark, and then some of the Barbie lighter, stuff? Lighter, and then this is the darkest. That's what I see. Well, the Barbie right, stuff. Right. This. Yeah, yeah, no, what did you call yeah, it? Because they're sticking out. Yeah. 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 So while yeah. while these colors are a little bit, right. a little bit wet. Right. I like the stems to kind of bleed. I like the stems to kind of bleed in with this. You know, and I'll go come, come out of the blue. Go there. How is this? Oh, this is weird. It comes around like this. Okay, let's get the yellow. I don't want my darkest green right here. I want a fairly light green. See, these are these are drying already. I mean, so I don't like getting a bleed. I like. Let's see what happens here. This could be a mess. What colors are you mixing together? Whoa! Um, just a little the gamboge yellow and uh, uh, ultramarine. Um, that was very cold. So. Okay, so here we got okay. some. Now this, there's a lot of green down here. Really dark green. Uh, there's some dark greens in here yeah. too. Oops, I want to make sure I get my light greens in first. Oh yeah. yeah. There's a leaf. <coughs> there's another leaf. I don't know if I see two leaves there or not. Got that right. And then here's another one that's fairly light on the outside. It's gonna get darker on the inside. I'll extend that a little further than I I see it, but mm -hmm. I want to make sure it's outside that. Oh, I also like to let things go off the page. Run off the page. I'm gonna mm -hmm. send that baby out there. Yeah. Um anything more down here. Okay, now we get some. Okay. So and around these blue things here. Interesting. Oh dear. That's really really nice. Mm -hmm. Um 
Mm-hmm. That's a new way of saying oops. Oops. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> it's driving me nuts, Bob. Yeah, that's right. No. What's happening here? Okay. <laughs> that is a good sharp line there. Oh, boy. <laughs> Another one of these fern things. So cute. (laughs) Magnets. Come on, dark green. Here we go. Now I'm going to start painting in between these. Oops. I got a pretty big brush here for this yeah, game, too. you know. Yeah, that has a beautiful point. That's the, that's the kicker. Yeah. Yeah, that way I don't have to reload when I'm doing this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. You know, there are times when you look at the photograph, and there are times you just look at your painting and go, mm-hmm. "What? What does it need? What? Oh, I need a little edge there. I need a little edge here." Um, there around the hydrangeas. A lot of stuff in there too. It's a big mush of. Whoa, new technique. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Another tip. Another Ned tip. Yeah, yeah. Tip number what? Four ninety-seven. <laughs> okay, what else? Well, I'm yeah, yeah, the other side. Oh yeah, good, good. Well, that's one of those fern leaves too. Mm-hmm. I love how you do that. <laughs> one needs to be darker. I'll leave a little bit of stem there. Come in. Mm-hmm. That. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm starting to lock in these things. With the, the greens are kind of locking in the petals. You see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, if it, okay, so I need something maybe a little around here. I'll go, oops. Mm-hmm. Whoop, whoop. There, that, yeah, that tighten, yeah. tightens that up. Right. Okay, I don't want to tighten too much, you know, but... Uh, Okay, uh, break my arm. Okay, so we'll hold there. So get the get your big color, big uh, flowers in the blues and kind of reddishy ones, red purple, and then lock. Get in with the greens while they're still a little bit wet.
What color did you use on the background of the table? Um, it was a raw sienna and a, and a permanent rose or something. Well, they certainly get pretty dark in the, in the closer to the stems, don't they?
Hey. That's it. Oh, yep. Because <laughs> I could really screw it up now. <laughs> you can try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, actually, what I need to know is like stick a bunch of dark wings. Mm -hmm. mm. Some factory green. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. No, you weren't. <laughs> Let's get some Payne's gray out. No. <laughs> well, when you're an oil painter, you use a lot of Payne's gray when you first do your drawing of your landscape outside, so you mix it. It's uh, cobalt, flake uh, white, and a little bit of black. Yeah, so you paint gray? Paint gray. Make your own. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's a car coming. Wait, wait, this, is, this is a phone that I don't use. Is this a phone you don't use? Yeah. Oh. Somebody cheats on you. No, I just, I just got a new number. I just got a number for it. It's um, an iPhone 13 that my son had been using um, mm -hmm. that then got refurbed and he had gotten a 15. Oh boy. So rather than trading it in, I gave him like a little discussion on the facts of life. <laughs> things like <laughs> things that my dad would have taught me. Like, mm -hmm. If they want to give you four hundred dollars for it, it's worth two or three times that. Mm. So pay down your loan to your dad and give it to him. <laughs> Those are the facts of life, is my yeah. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. You don't want to hear my mom's. <laughs> oh, I'm getting started with that. I can tell you some things with mine. <laughs> hey, mine would have salty and like salty, salty language. Oh, so would mine. Yes, my father was just a gem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mean on the in the blues? Yeah, I it's just a little bit of ultramarine and and cerulean. Okay, so you just make it darker. I'm just okay. yeah, just make it a little bit darker. It looked a little flat, so I want to get a few more colors in there.
boy. Well, you need to... interested in your thought process about how you decided to pick that background color. Um, it really is extraordinary and it really makes the painting work and it has nothing to do with what is there. So what, how did you... Okay, yeah, no, no, the great, great question. Um, it, it was, it's a white Formica tabletop, um, though I saw it as being a little bit on the warm side, but I also knew that to make the blue hydrangeas in the middle of the picture jump out a little bit, I wanted the opposite color, which is an orange. So I use sort of a peachy light orange in the background, and I think that makes the blues in the middle uh, jump out a little bit more. Um, so I guess that's what my thought process is. Um, I, I need to put a, a darker tone down here in the lower left, and that's going to be my next step. And uh, I'm going to try to take the opposite of yellow. What's the opposite of yellow? Blue. No. <laughs> Purple. Purple. So I'm going to yeah, blue and red. Do, a, do a tone of a, a light... I don't want to call it purple because that's too that sounds too bright, but I'm gonna have a, a, a red and blue in there um, to kind of tone down this lower left. In fact, how are we doing on on colors? Wow, you no, boy, Susan, those reds are great. Mm, yeah, sure are. Show off. Yeah, wow, this is just so much of it. No, it's really cool. Because when you look at it from a distance, they all the colors really work well together. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Okay, I'm going to tone down the lower left area um, with some water. I'm just going to put water over, and i got to be careful because I don't want to disturb those greens. So I'm not going to scrub the water on. I am going to go around some of my leaves and those 
those, uh, what do we call those purple flowers? Things. Ostromeria lilies. Astromeria. Mm. All right. And I'm going to use the same uh, permanent rose that I started with, the very first, and I'm going to use alizarin, I mean, uh, ultramarine blue. And I put it down, and I go, oh, that's too purple, so I'm going to get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of raw sienna to take down. I, again, I, got, I want to get, doing the table yeah, I'm doing the tabletop, so. So I've added a little bit of yellow into my blue and just trying to tone down that bottom. And I, right now it looks like the perfect color, but I know it's gonna dry lighter. So I'm gonna add a little more color into it. Come on, a little bit more blue. And I'm creating a shadow line right there where there really isn't one, but that's okay. Ned, I'm signing off a little early. This is Carol. Are okay, Carol. Are you are you in Mexico now? I am in Mexico, ah. so, I'm, so I'm sketching quickly and headed to the beach. Um, and what time is it there? Is it, are you in the same time zone as Eastern Standard Time? No, we're Central, so it's an hour earlier. Okay, okay. But not, not, not too bad. Well, you don't no, don't don't miss out on your beach time. <laughs> Definitely not. We'll see you for critique. Yes. All right. Good. Good. This is so fun. You know, like people from. Okay, so I'm, I've, I've done a little blush at the bottom, I'm going to do the, the top too. So stay with me, I'm going to put clear water over the top, I'm going to go around these, the flowers that I've done, and this is going to be the darkest part of, yeah, I think it's the darkest part of my painting. Um, and... Hopefully the dark up above will make the the light flowers and the lights in the painting jump out. What color did you use on the top then? I haven't done any yet. It's just water. It's water. <laughs> okay. You're so using I'm using spreader. I'm going to use you know uh, ultramarine. What do I want to use for this? Ultramarine alizarin. And raw sienna. What a mess. Okay, so I, I'm not mixing it totally on my uh, on my palette. I'm 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 getting a little bit of each color on my brush. Can you see that? And I don't like those little scrapey things, but <clears throat> let's get a little more blue. There we go, and we just have fun up here. Oh, let's get some more dark. It's got to be stronger. I'm, I'm painting into water, so I, I need to really put the color. It has to be pretty dry coming onto my brush. There we go. And a little bit of alizarin. If I feel like I got too much blue in there, too much green, I put in the alizarin. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful at times. Come on, come on, come on. A little more color. You do have to be careful that the color doesn't dribble into those plants, though. If it's too wet or I have too big a brush, I may mess this up, which I'm getting close to doing that.
And I got a little bit of hair on my brush that drives me crazy. Yeah. Don't you just hate that? Yeah. And then when you go to pick it up, you know, you may leave a fingerprint or something on your painting. Or something. Reminds me how long I'm in. So even though this is a lot of area, it's not careful painting. So, you know, don't... Looks like you got a freaking swamp going on. I do. And I can keep dropping color in here. All I want. Make sure that line lines up, you know what I mean, Bill? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like, oops, I lost that one. A little bit more blue at the top. Come on. If I were bold enough to use phthalo blue, I might put it up there, but it's such a ooh, wacko color. Oh, okay. I'll save that for home. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'll pause there. Let you guys do the backgrounds of two areas. The lower left and the top third or quarter and then I got to deal with my vase and a few last minute details but then what time is it right now? Oh, 11.34. Could, could be done by noon time. All right. I'm going to do um, a little bit of Detailing in the in the flower petals, but it's one of those things. Break my arm if I go too far. <laughs> um, but with the detail and some of the other stuff, these look these now are looking a little a little flat. So. I'm going to do the Oriolan and the red. And I've just squint my eyes to see which ones sort of jump out at me. Oh, boy. What's that color? Sorry. That's the Windsor and the Oriolan. Now, those flowers are dry now, though, right? Oh, you just spritz them. Oh, God, yeah, they're long dry. Yep. Yeah, so did you, you didn't spritz them? Yeah. No. Yeah. And so maybe a few places in between the flowers. That one to there. That one there. I think what I'm doing, uh, Kathy, is the ones in between the big ones. Okay. You know, I'm just then then the big ones sort of stand out a little bit more. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of dots around there. Flick out. To get that Here's where I gotta be careful, don't overdo it. On, on the one, I gotta do it on, on all of them. Of course, I'm gonna dabble some metallic paint on that later. Hmm. Oh no, <coughs> metallic. Ugh. I don't think it's metallic. <laughs> you, but he's trying to get a rise out of you. <laughs> no. he's, he's, I was just gonna say that. Bill's definitely good at that kind of thing. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and then, uh, just a little hint of the green in the center. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Cerulean and the old Oriole and mm -hmm. just strengthen that a little bit. Yeah, 
Thanks, John Rivers. So I keep, I oh, keep yeah. oh, at this God. point, I just keep squinting my eyes and looking at it and say, what? Jelly baby. And I don't want to do every one of them, you know? Yeah, just leave it like that. <laughs> All right, now. Now, are you going to do anything with your base now? That's what we're going to do now. Oh, okay. Uh, ultramarine, a lizard. So I'm, I'm, I'm picturing this as being a, a, a um, what did I say, silver. Simple operations to people over. Yeah, I want to make it hard for myself, right? Right. That is very true. I tell everyone in nursing homes with Alzheimer's, that's how they go. It's usually a complication to something simple. Mm hmm. Purple with that color, right? Let's go a little more of this. Mm. Yeah. What am I doing here? I gotta make sure I really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Oh, they're great. Yours See, that's what I, great. That's what I can't get. I got to get a Everybody's just so, so different. Isn't that interesting, though? Yeah, you yeah, it's always how it is. Mm -hmm. Interesting way you painted that one. Mm -hmm. That black background at the top is awesome. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. So it's kind of repeating sometimes. Yeah. Listen to who's doing the sign this time. Yeah. <laughs> Just reward. You know what makes a great exercise is take your revereware pots and line them up on the. T oh, no. oh no. Isn't that the truth? And what? paint them because they're all. It's got the copper bottom. It's basically the metals and uh, the copper bottom and the silver sides. In seventh grade, right. we had to draw a copper spoon. It was like, I have to go buy copper paint. And he kept saying, No, no, no. It's all about the shadow. I said, Where? Where? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Can see it. So, now I can see it. So but then, like as a seventh, seventh grade, 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 I was. Oh, no. I can't yeah, see it. I said, Why do I have to be in class with her? <laughs> Yeah, now it's all stainless steel. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's what we have. Mainly. And then we have Le Creuset, you know, for the bread she makes and the stews and all. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. She got to Somebody say stew. stew. I heard stew. the word stew. I heard stew. Stew. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, stew. Mm -hmm. Stewed meat. To make yeah. stew. Right. Beef stew. Yeah. yeah. I'm a firm believer in all of that. Oh, it's mm -hmm. stew. <laughs> She's got a bunch. Okay, now these these, these look really too bright over here. Right. So. Oh, okay. That's how you say it. Still, I'm gonna tone that down. So that's what she'll make for the. I'll pull it out. Her bachelor brother. Nice. Just, the, the, the paint's wet down there, so it's just. just oh, uh, blues. <laughs> That is pretty. But I want to catch. She has always a great Good job, Ned. I'm gonna get a little bit more. That's what she does. Wow. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah, 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 it's a great sale place. just recently, so she just got another one. Great sale. Yeah. This one great sale. Oh, yeah. We got the real bright red one. I forgot what it's called. It's a viewing it's shape, and it's like yeah, a yeah, pretty one bell, one like a nice bell. The yeah. shape is yeah. awesome. It almost looks like something glowing. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's like a kitchen cabinet.
Nice. And I think I got just a little bit down here. And I'll call it cool. Are you going to try to keep those other ones white to make it look white? We're going to leave these things yeah, white, at least for now. Yeah, should feel cheerful. So I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm gonna quit now. I may, I may go back to these whites later and say, oh, they well, should be. Well, it kind of makes it look uh, silvery. Yeah, so. I, I think I want, I want that reflection mm -hmm. thing. So yeah, I've got it with facets. Yeah, we'll see. Oh yeah, yeah I, I would. Leave. I think. You should leave. And you can, you can also pretend it's a, a ceramic piece, in which case you make it lighter on one side and darker on the other, yeah. and you can use whatever color you want. Oh yeah. But, uh, awesome. So I'm gonna say we're done. Oh, I know. I know what. No, I'll tell you what else. Just so you, you, you ask good. Who has? Ellen asked a good question. I'm looking down here. I'm seeing the this leaf, that flower, these two leaves. They all come out no. at the same spot. So. Uh, and I don't like they're Yeah, they're just two. Just two, one, two, three kind of thing. So I'm gonna. I've lost my picture. I don't need. I don't need it. Yeah, yeah. Just feel it. Depends on. I'm gonna go out and make this one a lot bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That already looks good. Yeah. So I, I break that, yep. that up. Oh, that, that's good too. Mm -hmm. that there. Look at us critiquing. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need the pepto. Yeah. And this, this lost a little bit of its. Yeah, it lost a lot of mine. But I, I don't mind some of it. So I'm just going to. I can't. I'm just. It's so hard for me to do all right so uh for those of you at home where everyone's walking around in the studio looking at each other's works it's kind of fun to see how different they are but i am going to say that at least for now i'm done <laughs>